Hi, I'm Rhino. I'm a physicist, and this is how to find the average of a group using positives and negatives. Now, we can think of a list of transactions and a monetary value associated with each one. Now, we can label transactions as 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's say we make a total of 5 transactions. For each transaction, it can have either a positive or a negative dollar amount associated with it. If it's negative, you're losing money. If it's positive, you're gaining money. So let's say transaction one is just one dollar. Transaction two can be about two or 150, 1.5 dollars. Transaction three can be negative one, four, negative two dollars, and five we can just say is zero dollars. Okay? And now if we want to find the average of this, it's simply the transaction dollar amount, so 1 plus 150 plus negative 1 plus negative 2 and plus this last transaction of 0, which we don't even need to write, so it was a nil transaction. And we can divide this by the total number of transactions. So in our case, it is 5. And we find that the average dollar amount per transaction is equal to 1 plus 1.5, which is 2.5, minus 1, minus 2, over 5. And this part just becomes negative 3. And we find it's equal to negative 0 0.5 over 5, which is equal to negative 0 0.1. So we find that our average is actually negative 10 cents per transaction. I'm Ryan Alt, and this is Finding an Average with Negative and Positive Numbers.